All right, well today uh, we're treating the middle fork of the Williams. It's one of the feeders that feeds the main middle fork of the Williams. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the uh, Bricky Bum channel. Hey, uh, this episode here we're following up with our uh, Behind Conservation series. Um, this episode we uh, we tag along with the West Virginia DNR. Uh, West Virginia DNR in a company with the Ernie Nestor chapter of Trout Unlimited uh, and also Walmart uh, who contributes to the limestone finds in this episode. Uh, it, it, this is the Bucket Brigade. This is their 12th year doing this. Um, what they do is, is they take buckets of limestone finds and they pass it person to person all the way down the line until they get to the end. Um, there was roughly 80-ish people um, at this year's Bucket Brigade. And uh, at the end, they toss it out into this little run that runs it out into uh, the middle fork of the Williams River. Uh, the middle fork of the Williams River essentially years ago was completely dead. Uh, but with this efforts from the West Virginia DNR, uh, their new Nestor chapter, and again Walmart, uh, with these efforts they have brought back the middle fork of the Williams River and today you can catch some amazing brook trout in this stream. Um, all because of the efforts of bringing the limestone into West Virginia. Uh, the DNR here uh, do an amazing job with this limestone. Uh, this is not the only stream in West Virginia that they put these limestones in. Uh, they got stations and they've also got other dump sites uh, all through the state actually, uh, which makes West Virginia's uh, water uh, quality a lot better. So West Virginia is very, very blessed to have not only the brook trout and, and the wild trout that we do, but we're also blessed to have the DNR uh, and other volunteers that, that we do um, because West Virginia is blessed with a lot of cold water and most of that water is uh, holding native brook trout or wild uh, brown trout and rainbow trout. So if you guys are looking for a destination to go somewhere and you're looking to catch some amazing brook trout uh, and some uh, wild trout, uh, give West Virginia a try. I encourage you to come to West Virginia. You guys won't regret it. Uh, you guys uh, will catch amazing fish here. Um, so with that, I'll leave you with, uh, with that and uh, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free.
this is our bucket brocade and Walmart donates the food for their lunches. The people come and do the limestone into the river. But Walmart donates all the food for the people who's doing the buckets and, and all. And uh, usually 1477 summers and bring it out here and serve it to the guys when they get done putting in the limestone. All right, well today uh, we're treating the Middle Fork of the Williams. It's one of the feeders that feeds the main Middle Fork of the Williams. Um, the Middle Fork of the Williams has been impacted heavily by acid rain over the years and it reached a point that uh, in the 70s all the brook trout population that was once in it uh, was eradicated. There was no more fish left in the stream. Um, we started doing the treatment on the Middle Fork of the Williams Oh, I believe it was in 2006 or 2007 we started treating one of the other feeders that are run off the scenic highway. And uh, today we are continuing the treatment with the Bucket Brigade. And I'm um, happy to say that through all these efforts and everybody's hard work with the Bucket Brigade and treating the other stream, we now have reproducing and a native brook trout population restored back to the Middle Fork of the Williams. And so I'd like to thank everyone that participated over the years and today uh, with the weather and everything that came out to continue this effort to help restore the Middle Fork of the Williams. All right, um, so the, the Bucket Brigade, I believe it started 12 years ago um, and it was originally a suggestion from Ernie Nestor um, after we heard that John Rabinsky had been hand carrying tons of limestone back in here by, him, by himself. So it sounded like a uh, a good project that we could uh, contact him. Ernie suggested we did that, so I made contact with John, and uh, we started. Uh, I think we had about 25 people the first time we did it, and uh, so we've done it every year, successfully getting larger. Some years kind of up and down on that, but we still get anywhere from 50 to 100 people out here now to do this in 12 years, and uh, it's successful. We got plenty of fish in the Middle Fork now, and it's. Uh, really popular event from everybody and basically TVU's role is to help and contribute with some limestone finds and funding with that in association with Walmart. Hey guys, 
Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode um, behind conservation with the uh, DNR and the Bucket Brigade uh, earning extra chapter at and Walmart. Uh, we want to thank everybody who volunteered. We want to thank also those who uh, who sponsored this, put this on. Uh, it's an amazing event. I, I was truly blessed to uh, to be there. I was, I'm hoping to uh, continue that and and be back again uh, in years to come. So uh, with that, we want to give you an update uh, of our next video. Uh, we're actually going to Birch County, Pennsylvania. We're hoping that we're going to catch our first native brook trout in Pennsylvania. So we can mark that off our books. Uh, be a state that we that we can check off that we've got some brook trout in. Um, but uh, yeah, we're going to Berks County. We're going to fish North Kill Creek uh, in Berks County, Pennsylvania. So check that out. That's coming up uh, the 29th of this month. So uh, and after that, we are hooking up with. Uh, the U.S. Forest Service. Um, uh, my buddy Chad works there. Uh, he's a biologist, and we're going to uh, follow him uh, with some day to day. So his his is going to be broke up into multiple different videos. So stay tuned for all that stuff, so guys. Subscribe to us so that you guys don't miss any of this stuff. Um, hit that notification bell so that you get a little uh, ding whenever. We're, uh, when we upload, uh, you guys don't want to miss this. Brookie Bum is all about educating people, uh, and that's what we're going to do. Uh, that's what we started this behind the conservation uh, series, uh, so that we can bring more conservation to people, so that we can all connect together uh, to be one big, huge unit of conservation minded people. So, check it out, check us out, give us a like. Give us a share, subscribe to us, and uh, as always, uh, keep them wet. Peace.